Good morning guys and welcome to today's video on equivalent fractions. Right guys, this video was filmed on Saturday the 11th of July 2020. Right guys, if you're new, welcome, thank you for clicking on my video. My name is Abdallah Wahishi and I'm a private maths tutor and a recently qualified maths teacher for secondary and primary. I make videos on Key Stage 1, Key Stage 2, Key Stage 3, GCSC, A-level maths and even further maths, A-level and also undergraduate level degree maths maths okay uh, please do subscribe to my channel and like my video if you find it useful and please yeah um, en enable notifications by pressing the bell icon so you guys can be notified of when my videos um, uploads are going to be okay okay so yeah um because it, yeah it, it, it would really help me out guys right guys let's get into today's video right, okay so um, these are our objectives for today's lesson. Okay, so we're looking at grade two and three for GCSE um, nine to one maths. Okay, so to be able to understand what is meant by an equivalent fraction, to be able to find equivalent fractions and yeah, spot them, and to be able to simplify fractions. Okay, so we're looking at um, equivalent fractions and simplifying fractions for today's lesson, guys. Okay, for the numbers topic. Okay, so this is also aimed at yeah, obviously key stage three maths yeah, and also key stage two maths as well. Okay, so anyone doing that. Sats here for key stage two. Right, guys. Okay, so brief yeah recap actually of the previous lesson. So yesterday's, yesterday's lesson, guys, on the tenth of July, we looked at dividing decimals. Okay, so um divided by decimals. So what I did was actually was I had okay so yeah a hundred divided by zero point four. Okay, so here I, I was to find out how many zero point fours here go into a hundred. Okay, now to make the um operation a bit easier, actually, what I did was I multiplied top and bottom by ten because I wanted to remove the decimal point. Okay, on the denominator of my fraction, so I times it top and bottom by ten, so I got a thousand divided by four, which gave me two hundred and fifty as my answer. Okay, so my answer is two hundred and fifty. Okay, yeah, so that's for that one actually. Okay, next one, guys. Okay, so it says, yeah, example two, right, 0 0.9 divided by 0 0.03. Okay, so what I did was I times by 10 first, so I got 9 divided by 0 0.3. I times by 10 again, okay, so I got 90 divided by 3. Okay, 9 divided by 3 is 3. Add on the 0, I get 30. Okay, so 90 divided by 3 is 30. Okay, and it's just a yeah um a, a a quick note, guys. That if you ever divide by a decimal, the answer is always bigger. And if you multiply by a decimal, my answer is always going to be smaller. Okay, so they they are two key fundamental rules, actually. Yeah, obviously for for for, for this topic, actually, and and the multiplying decimals topic. Okay, so I hope that that was actually clear, guys. If you, if you want more information, please obviously check out yeah, obviously the video that I made yesterday um, on dividing decimals. Right, guys, today's lesson. Okay, so we are going to look at yeah, um, equivalent fractions. So equ equivalent fractions, guys, are just fractions that are exactly the same. So they they're the same size and the same amount. Okay, so they are just obviously the same actually. And the way that I can distinguish th that that I have an equivalent fraction is that whatever I multiply the numerator of the fraction by, it I must multiply by the same number on the top and bottom for it to be an equivalent fraction. Okay. So what I mean here is, okay, so we are asked to find out, um, yeah, as many fractions as possible that is equivalent to a half. Okay, so a half means obviously yeah, 1 over 2, 1 divided by 2. Okay, so a half is the same as 2 quarters. So what I've done here is I've multiplied top and bottom by 2. So 1 times 2 is 2 and 2 times 2 is 4. Okay, so 2 over 4 is the same as a half. Okay, so of two quarters is is what I call an equivalent fraction, okay, and similarly, okay, one half is the same as three sixths. I've multiplied top and bottom by three, okay. Next one, a half is the same as four sixths, uh, four eighths. Sorry, um, I, I've multiplied top and bottom by um four. Next one is a half is yeah um hundred over two hundred. So I've times by top and bottom by um, 100. Next one is a half of the same as 8 sixteenths of times top and bottom by 8. And then lastly, a half here is the same as saying x over 2x, where x can be any integer, okay, or any value actually, yeah, essentially. But we'll, we will just stick to, obviously, an integer just here for the purpose of, like, today's lesson. So we will only be looking at your whole number fractions, essentially. 
Okay, so yeah. Right, guys, third example. Okay, so work out the following. So, 7 ninths is, is, is equal to, okay, all these equivalent fractions. Okay, so the fact that, that there's like an equal sign actually means that I know here yeah, that all my fractions here will have to be equivalent. Okay, so the first part, okay, so 9 times something is 18. So, 9 times 2 is 18. Okay, so 7 is going to be 14. So, that's going to be 14 there, okay, for the first missing part okay the second part equals 28 over something well double of 20 and um, 14 is 28 so double of sorry i'll say that i'll say that again sorry double of 14 is 28 double of third um, 18 is going to be 36 so, th so that's the next missing box okay next one guys nine times three is 27 seven times three is 21 okay Next one, guys, 7 times 9 is 63. And then 9 times 9 is going to be 81. Next one is 9 times 10 is 90. 7 times 10 is 70. And then lastly, 700,000 divided by 900,000 actually and that is because I've done 7 times 100,000 okay so my final answer here will be 900,000 for the last uh, missing part so 900,000 okay so there are my answers okay so I've got yeah I've got that as my answer okay Right, guys, next part. Okay, so simplifying fractions. So let's say, yeah, I've got the fraction here, yeah, 8 tenths. I want to write this fraction here yeah, in its simplest form. So what that means is, is I have to simplify the top and bottom, actually. So they are both even numbers here, yeah, so I can divide top and bottom by 2. Okay, so my answer I would get is 4 fifths. So 4 fifths is now in its simplest form. And the reason why I cannot simplify that any further is because there are, there are no numbers that go into both 4 and 5. Yeah, um to like simplify that any further if that makes sense so the yeah um yeah like yeah for that actually okay so that is yeah like my, my like simplest form okay right guys okay so um next one actually so simplify the following okay so yeah if possible okay so four eighths okay is equal to a half divide top and bottom by four the next part is two twentieths so divide top and bottom by two Okay, next part is 10 over 12, divide top and bottom by 2, 5 over 6, and then 7 ninths is not possible, because 7 and 9, yeah, have no common factors, like, yeah, like, between, like, each other, yeah, so, so, like, sometimes, yeah, um, you will not always be able to simplify your fractions, yeah, um, yeah, if that makes sense, yeah, and that's why, yeah, here it says, like, if possible, actually, yeah, so, like, if it says if possible, then, then that means that not all fractions, yeah, obviously, can be, can be like, simplified fully. Okay, so I hope that actually made sense, guys. Yeah. Okay, I hope that made sense. Yeah, and feel free yeah, to obviously comment below. Yeah. Um. At the end, uh, at the end, actually, if you've got any questions or queries about this topic. Right, guys. Okay. Pause the video. Okay. So try these questions. So it should be six questions. Pause the video. Okay. Try these questions and then press play once you've um, finished the questions. Okay. So give these questions a go. Right, guys, here are my answers. Okay, so mark your, mark your question, guys. Yeah, and guys, feel free to obviously comment below, actually, what, what, what you got out of six, actually. It, it, it'll be interesting, yeah, obviously, for me to see. And, um, yeah, obviously, like, yeah, like, and, um, yeah, it, it, it'll be interesting to see, yeah, obviously, what you guys got out of six, six, actually. So, if you feel comfortable, yeah, obviously, comment below, Um, obviously, your mark out of six, okay? If you're not comfortable, that's fine, don't worry. Um. Yeah, okay. Right, guys, end of the lesson. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Please do yeah, subscribe to my channel. Yeah, if, you, if you're new and, and if you found this useful, drop it a like. Um, yeah, um, press the bell icon. Um, 
so you so you can be notified yeah, of when my uploads are okay yeah and feel free yeah, to like share my videos around actually yeah, with anyone that actually might find it useful okay yeah and second task guys so comment below yeah okay so in the comment section comment below one thing yeah, that you the that you have that you have have actually taken away actually yeah, or learned from today's lesson or even like revis revisited yeah or like revised okay so comment below yeah like one thing that you've actually taken away from this lesson okay and then also guys yeah obviously enjoy your summer like safely okay um next video yeah um it should be out tomorrow yeah um around seven o'clock eight o'clock in the evening okay yeah um thank you so much for watching guys yeah obviously stay safe and i hope everyone's doing well okay and then lastly okay um other like useful channels okay so feel free yeah, to, to check out the, these other like useful youtube channels okay um to, to like help with your revision this summer okay so again, thank you guys. Yeah, th thank you so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. Okay, yeah, um, yeah. Stay safe, and and I hope you're all well. Okay, um, enjoy your Saturday now. Okay, bye now.